Welcome to Beauty Boss, a new series showcasing the world's next best talent in all things hair, makeup, and beauty. A modern beauty boss not only has the skill, but the ability to engage with viewers of all kinds, from amateurs to the pros. I'm your host, Brianne Morse. Each week, we invite 10 new contestants to compete in a beauty challenge. Every look will be judged by industry experts and you, the fans. Each week, one contestant will take home $1,000 and be invited back for a chance at our grand prize in the finale for $25,000 and the title of Beauty Boss. Today's challenge is drum roll, please. Everyday Glam. Beauty bosses work day and night. Our contestants must create a boss look that can be applied in the morning and work throughout the day and night while incorporating a mask. Contestants will be judged on their ability to create and film their overall look while engaging with a viewing audience. Not only do our contestants have to create a day to night look, but they also have to incorporate the following products into their looks. First, they must use the Phi Heat Platform Signature Pro Styler with three layers of baked ceramic plates infused with tourmaline for even heat distribution. The contestants were also given a fabulous kit by Sistar Cosmetics. Sistar only uses naturally derived, cruelty-free, and non-GMO beauty cosmetics. Finally, Bumi Master Brushes were given to Olivia and Sydney to carry the makeup from the palette to the canvas. Bumi's exclusive makeup brushes feature cruelty-free, strong, synthetic, bio-strand fibers that resist bacteria. Okay, today's guest judges are industry royale and innovator in hairdressing, Ms. Vivian McKinder, singer, songwriter, and social corner host of the Look All Stars TV show, Manika, and artistic director and celebrity hair and makeup artist, Sean James. Now let's meet our two contestants. First, we have Olivia Smalley. You may know her from OMG Artistry. She is a published celebrity hair and makeup artist for Paris Hilton, Nick Jonas, and Britney Spears, a Cosmoprof artistic team member, and keynote speaker for Modern Salon. Let's go check out Olivia's look. Hey, beauty bosses, it's Olivia at OMG Artistry, and I'm gonna show you today how to go from a daytime into a nighttime glam look. Because I want this look to last all night, I'm gonna go in first with my HD concealer from Sistar It's You. So what I do is I just dab a little bit in the center of my eye. So what the concealer does is it helps to actually blink out those areas where there may be darkness, and it also helps for the pigment to show up even more. Can we talk about how beautiful this Sunkissed palette is? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in first with this color right on my lid. So then I'm gonna go right into this color right inside of my crease. It's a beautiful, like, taupey, mauve color. So what I generally do with my eyes is I actually start by just dabbing a little bit on the side because that's where I want the most amount of pigment and then that's when I brush from there. Always hold your brush at the butt. And why I say that, it allows for better blending. Okay, so now that my daytime look is finished, we're gonna translate into nighttime. So I'm gonna change, I'll be right back. Okay, all right, and now let's get into hair because this needs some help. So this is an FHI flat iron and I have it set at 370 right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is put your hair into sections first. And why I say to section your hair is because if you just start taking your flat iron and you constantly go like this, you're gonna burn the top of your hair and you're actually gonna burn the bottom of your hair. I'm actually going to pick up my section and use it as a guide, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to bevel my ends inward and I'm going to allow the round brush to really set that look, okay? So I'm taking it, I'm bending it inwards and I'm following that up 
This is going to help conduct that heat and really set that wave into place. Okay, beauty bosses, I cannot wait to see your recreation of all of these different looks. Love you guys. Mwah. I really loved Olivia Smalley, how she really grabbed hold of the challenge and did an amazing job. She showed that beautiful daytime look covered up in a mask, how you can go from that straight to the nighttime look, night out in the town, girls night. And she really showed how you really don't have to start all over with your makeup, how you can just vamp up the makeup and add a little hair to that and you're good to go. I thought the day look makeup was very fresh and very modern. I felt for the glamour look, um, I would have pulled back a little bit on one or two of the elements. I would either have made the lip a little bit less dramatic and had the face be more simple, so the focus is the eyes or the other way around, a stronger lip, more contoured in the face and a much more simple eye because glamour is something that's polished and well put together and is, you know, is stylized. I love Olivia's final product. She was really unique in using the brush to finish off the hair with the round brush. What a great way to conduct that curl. Next, we have Sydney Ann Lopez. Sydney is a jack of all trades, specializing in everything from lipstick to lashes to beards, brides, and balayages. She is the American Influencer Awards Emerging Colorist of the Year and a Modern Salon Top 100 Influencer. Let's go check out Sydney's look. Hi, I'm Sydney Lopez. It's at Sydney and Lopez here on Instagram. I am so excited to be here with you guys today on Beauty Boss. I am going to share with you guys today a couple of my um, favorite little tips and tricks. This is just how I look by the end of the day. I'm gonna take my mask off. I'm very fresh faced. Um, and I'm gonna show you the great things that the Beauty Boss team sent me. First thing they sent me was these Boomi brushes. The other thing that I was sent, which we are gonna use these with, is the Sistar makeup um, kit. And then the last thing I received was the FHI um, platform styler. It is a flat iron. I, okay, there's a few things I already love about it. It, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually pivots when you use it, which is great for curling. Um, and then it has a little gripper right here where when you're curling, you can actually push into it. I'm gonna plug this in, get it started. We're gonna do my makeup first, because I just wanna look awake. And then after we do my makeup, we will move on to the flat iron. I have to slow it down for you guys here because this is one of my favorite things I received. It's the Ultimate Define Gel Eyeliner from Sistar and it's actually the color of my hair. <laughs> so a good tip that I wanted to share with you guys for those of y'all who are going from like day into evening, you can actually take a black liner like I already have on and just amp it up a little bit with some sort of fun either um, eyeshadow or gel liner. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. It's very beautiful. If you actually look right here, it is so pretty. And I always brush each piece of hair before I curl it just so that I have like a really flat working surface. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna give it a bend. So I'm gonna do a full turn and then very slowly pull it out. And if you guys get too much of a curl, you can always pull the end while it's still hot and it'll loosen that curl up. And like you guys can see, I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't have a ton to work with. So we are gonna make it really big and full with just a tiny amount of hair that God gave me. Okay, here's my favorite thing to teach you guys. I'm gonna teach you how to deconstruct this teeny tiny limpy little braid into an amazing braid. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna treat it like a pair of shoelaces. You're gonna start at the bottom and then work your way up to the top. I only put a hair tie on it just because I wanted to curl the rest. So I'm actually gonna slide that hair tie off so I have a little bit more wiggle room in my deconstruction. And I'm just gonna hold the end and I'm gonna pull the outer meat of the braid so that's like the heavy part that's like really full and thick from one side to the next um, until I work my way all the way up. Here is my after, you guys. I wanted you to see it all the way around, so I'm gonna do a quick turn. So you can see this awesome braid. 
I would love to uh, get to know all of you guys. Please follow me, message me, let me know what you thought about my looks. Um, and thank you so much, Beauty Boss, for having me. I have had a blast. Sydney Ann Lopez also did an amazing job and her look was Instagram trendy. Amazing. Um, from a makeup perspective, I would just pull back on a few elements. If the eye is the hero, then tone down everything else. Maybe more of a, a quieter lip and maybe a strong eye. Um, maybe even more of a, like a lash. Sydney created such a beautiful look. I'm really happy with her end result. She was really creative in the way that she used the flat iron, created the curls, and then created a braid with texture. I love that look. It's really current. I love her color, her punky color of her hair. And I really love the tips that she gave. Wow, thank you so much to our contestants, Olivia and Sydney. Be sure to vote for your favorite contestant this week at bespoketv.com so that you can see them in the quarterfinals. And be sure to tune in next week when we reveal our winner. See you next time when our new contestants create an iconic movie look. I'm your host, Brienne, and thank you for watching Bespoke TV. See you later.